but we're doing what the Lord's telling us to do. Everything we're doing is scriptural. Everything we're doing in the Word. They, they started realizing after you get brought out of bondage and you get set free, all of a sudden you look back and you're like, oh my God. I've been living in deception. I've been living in lack. I've been living down here like a turkey and a chicken. And I was made to soar like an eagle. They put people in bondage without even realizing it. Because they're not preaching truth. Yes. Truth is the only thing that sets us free. We have been called to live in the reality of the kingdom. You don't see Jesus ever begging the Father for things. Mm -hmm. no. Because he knows everything he asks for, he's going to receive. Yes. So, I come, this is another thing too. You come, you see people, especially here in Ghana, you see people pray, 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 pray all night, all night, all night, all night. All night. I don't see any fruit in their lives. <laughs> I say, why are they burning up all this energy and there's no evidence of Christ and the kingdom in their life? Jesus, as we are living in relationship with him and as we're spending time in communion, yeah. this is what happens. Okay, this is so beautiful. All of a sudden, as I'm with him every day, all of a sudden, his desires and his heart get filled up inside of me. So I no longer ask for things that I think I might want. All I ask for are the desires that he's put inside of me. And, and as I ask according to his will and his ways, everything that I've mentioned, he just brings the fruit yes. right through. Yes. What happens is we're over here struggling, striving, because we haven't been living in relationship with the son. Everything the son asks for, he receives. Yes. And I don't have to ask. I don't have to have vain repetitions of prayers. Yeah. I come to the Father, and the Father knows everything I need. He knows that everything that He has called me to, He's going to equip me for. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Everything that He calls us to, yes. He will equip us. What He asks us to do is just to believe Him. Mm. Well, you know what I love about walking with Jesus is He won't give me all the pieces of the puzzle. Yeah. Okay? He'll mm. show me, He'll give me a, one key over here, and He'll be like, okay, here's the key. I want you to grab that key. I'll be like, okay, I'll grab that key. And then I'll be like, well, what, what, what am I trying to do here? And then all of a sudden, as I step out and grab that, he'll be like, okay, I want you to put that key there. As I step out and open this door and I step through by faith, all of a sudden we start seeing the supernatural light become our natural, mm. yes. right? Our life should be marked by miracle signs and wonders. Yes. I don't go searching and trying to produce miracle signs and wonders. I don't even ask for miracle signs and wonders. But I know that as I'm living, with the King of Glory, my life is going to be marked by miracle signs and wonders coming yes, through me. Yes. Right? He confirms His Word. Yes. Right? His Word that is inside of me by the Spirit. Right? As that Word comes out of me, the eternal Word is going to accomplish the thing it was sent out for. And as I live this life, my life is going to be in abundance. My life is going to be full of miracle signs and wonders. My life is going to be so fruitful. The reality of the kingdom of God is calling us out of this place of bondage and tradition. And he's calling us into this place where it's truly all about Jesus. Yes. You don't see any denominations in the New Testament. No. None. None. It's, it's Jesus Christ. A house divided cannot stand. As soon as I start taking denomination, this is what happens. All of a sudden, I start separating myself and putting myself in a separate class. Yes. Right? When we are called to be the family, what, what, what God is doing right now is he's actually raising up the ones. Mm. Right? He's raising up the ones all over the world. I go and preach all over the place. And everywhere I go, God puts them right in front of me. Mm. And as soon as I get in front of them, the Spirit of God says, this is one right here. Mm. The Spirit of God starts speaking to yeah. me about this one right here. And what I'm watching him do all over the world right now is he's joining us together. Hallelujah. Yeah, he's joining us together all over the world right now. He's linking us up because we are the remnant people yes. that he's raising up to bring the reality of the kingdom all over the earth. Mm. Right? It, it's, it's not like, it, it's not these many people, right? It's these remnant ones. And I'm going to show you guys in, in Matthew 22. Mm. We're going to get over to Matthew 22 right here. Or Matthew, Matthew 24. We're going to do uh, Matthew 24. We're going to start in, in verse uh, 36. Matthew 24. Yeah, we'll start in verse 36. So we're talking about the reality of the kingdom. We're talking about our destiny and our purpose is to live in this kingdom while we're here on this earth. And we have to understand what's already been done. We have to understand the finished work of the cross, right? Yes. The finished work of the cross. Jesus gave his life so that all those who believe in him, who repent and turn to him and believe in him, he gives us the gift of eternal life and he brings us out of 
bondage out of Egypt, out of the world, and he transfers us into his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the reality. As soon as I get saved, I get transferred over. Yeah. Now, as a baby, what I have to do is I have to allow the Spirit of God. He gives us a measure of the Spirit. We are sealed. Ephesians talks about that we are sealed. The time that we believe in Jesus Christ, we are sealed with the measure of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That is the payment for what's to come, that he's going to come and take us back. We are a purchased possession, right? So if you are truly born again, you have to understand that your life is not your own. Mm. You guys get that? It, your life is not your own. Mm. So it's, it, all of a sudden, when, when I got born again, I gave my life away and I received his life. He bought me. Galatians 2.20, I'm crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live. We can't just know these things in our head. It has to be our reality. So it's not even about me trying to live a life. It's about